hello guys welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time here you're most welcome please don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below and please click on the bell as well thank you so much please guys watch this video till the end for special announcement and i was also able to see it that z world has already catch up with us but we can run you know so the last update about joda and akbar was how shagune predicted that salim would cause trouble in the palace because of his art and joda was worried because of this but jala will calm joda down and the children were fighting and they took the matter to Jalau and Jalau judged the matter that savior is better than the killer so Salim will be the one to have the pigeon and Murad wasn't really happy about Jalau's judgment that was the last update let's continue from there little Murad was with Salima and Murad says that Jalau always favors Salim and he is angry with Jalau Salima says that Murad is wrong and Jalau was right because the savior is greater than the hunter and Salim is older than Murad so Murad should respect Salim. Murad says that he is also Jalal's son, so he should also have the same rights like Salim. Salima says that but Salim is the head to the throne and he will be the next king, so Murad should respect him. Murad says that he was the one that hunted the pigeon and is supposed to belong to him, so he did not do anything wrong. Salima says that but Murad should listen to what Jalal said to him and forget about the pigeon. Salim was taking his bath in the royal bathtub and Joda says that Salim should have made Murad understand things and not fight with him and Salim should have talked to Murad instead because Murad is Salim's younger brother and Salim should not raise hand on Murad again. Salim says that the pigeon would have died if he wasted time in talking to Murad about it so that was why he chose not to talk. Javeda's son called Ada comes to Javeda and says that Jalau also killed many pigeons but now Jalau is saying that the savior of pigeon is greater than the killer and this means that Jalau is biased. Javeda says that Ada should not talk like this and Ada says that why not because he knows how Jalau is and Jalau killed his father and Jalau also put his grandmother in the jail so Jalau is not a good person. Javeda tried to stop Ada from saying anything against Jalau but Ada refused to stop and Javeda in anger slaps Ada and asks him to stop. Joda was getting ready in her room and Zakira says that today is Umayun's birthday so Mariam's ceremony should look good. Jalau comes there and says that is Joda not ready yet. Joda says that she is ready and Jalau looks at Joda and says that one thing is remaining. Joda asks that what and Jalau puts black spot under Joda's hair and says that Joda should be saved from evil eyes and Joda smiles. Jalau asks that what about Salim and Joda says that Salim is not yet ready. Jalau says that Salim is his son and how Salim saved the pigeon really impressed him and by the way, Salim is his son after all. Joda says that when Salim is naughty, then Jalau will say that Salim is her son but when he is doing something good, then Jalau will say that he is his son. Jalau says that Salim is just like him but Joda says no, Salim is like her and she can give three reasons to prove that. Joda says that the first reason is that Salim thinks from the art like her and the second reason is that she also saved pigeon in her mirror like this and the third reason is when Jalau and Rukaya were about to kill deer in the jungle. She saved the deer by lighting fire in the jungle so Salim is just like her for saving the innocent pigeon. Jalau smiles and says that he now got the point and okay he accepts that Salim took after Joda and is Joda happy now and Joda smiles. Rukaya comes to Jalau and Joda and she asks that where is Salim because she has prepared a special dress and jewelry for him. Salim comes there and says to Joda that he is looking good in the dress that Joda gave to him and Joda says that Salim would also look good in the dress that Rukaya brought for him. Salim says no, he would wear only the dress that Joda gave to him because that is his favorite color. Rukaya says that if Salim is happy to wear only the clothes that Joda gave to him, then she is happy too because Salim is looking nice and he is a king so he can do anything. Rukaya asks Oshia to put her dress that Salim rejected in a corner and Rukaya kisses Salim and says that Salim should be safe from evil eyes and Joda smiles. Amida prays for Umayun's soul and Salima comes there and says that there is a ceremony in which Salim would give gift to the poor. Amida asks that where is her prince and Salim comes there and asks Amida and says that he is her grandmother. Salim asks Amida how he is looking and Amida says that Salim is looking really lovely and Amida has tears in her eyes. Salim asks that why is Amida crying and Amida should tell him if anyone said anything to her 
then it would punish the person. Amida smiles and says that when her grandson is with her, then how can anyone say anything to her? Salim wipes Amida's tears and says that he knows that Amida is missing his grandfather, but Amida should not worry because he would marry Amida when he grow up. Everyone laughs and Amida says that Salim cannot marry her. Salim says that why can't he marry Amida? Because if Jalal can marry his mother, then he can also marry Jalal's mother too. Amida smiles and says that grandson doesn't marry their grandparent. Salim says to Joda that Joda always says that wives do cook for their husband and Amida usually cook for him. So why can't he marry Amida? Joda smiles and says that Salim should not behave like this with grandma. Amida says that by the time that Salim will grow up to marry, maybe she would have grown very old and leave the world. And Salim says that he would not let Amida go away from him. And Amida asks Salim. Salim was sitting on the weighing balance and on the other side of the weighing machine. Gold was put there to calculate Salim's weight. Murad and Ada were jealous. And Murad says to Salima that he wants to also do what Salim is doing. But Salima says that it is Salim's turn. And the last piece of gold was put by Jalal, Joda and Rukaya. And the weighing machine moves. Jalal says to Mahan and Rahim to be with Salim and distribute the gold to the people. And Mahan and Rahim agreed to do that. Salim was with Mahan and Rahim, and Salim touches the things and then gives them to the poor. Salim hears some music noise and turns to see it, and Salim then goes to see where the music is coming from. Rahim goes after Salim to know where he is going to, and Salim follows the music, and Rahim asks that where is Salim going to. Salim says that he is just going to see from where the music is coming. Rahim says that he is standing here waiting for Salim, and Salim comes into a room and finds some girls learning classical Kathak dance. Salim's eyes were stuck on one girl, and Salim smiled seeing the little girl dance, and the girl was Anakali, who is also known as Nadira. Salim smiled seeing Anakali dance, and during her dance, Anakali loses her gungros, and gungros is an acolyte usually used by dancers, it usually make noise, from her feet, and Salim takes the gungros. Anakali comes to Salim and says that the gungros belongs to her, so Salim should give it back to her. Salim says that he is Prince Salim and he likes the gungros, so he will not give it back to Anakali. Anakali says that so whatever Salim likes, then he can take it because he is a prince. Anakali says that her mother gifted her the gungro, so she wants it back. Salim says that Anakali lost the gungro and he found it, so it belongs to her now. Anakali angrily gives the other pair of gungro to Salim and says that the pairs should not break, and Salim should take the gungros and take it as gift. Salim says that how will Anakali dance without her gungros? Anakali says that noise cannot come only from the gungros, and Anakali brings out plate and dance with the plate, and the plate makes noise. Anakali says to Salim that Salim should take the gungros, because it would help Salim. Salim says that how dare Anakali talk to him like that, when he would become the king soon. Anakali says that Salim is so small like the finger of the king, so when Salim grow up enough to become the king, then Salim should come to her and Salim will get respect then. In the palace, Jalal comes to have lunch with the whole family and everyone greets Jalal. Jalal sits and says to everyone to start eating and Salim gets worried. Murad says to Ada that Salim have some gungros because it is making noise and Jalal asks that from where is the noise coming from. One of the children says that Salim is hiding something, and Jalal asks Salim that what is he hiding. Before Salim could say anything, Murad grabs the gungros from Salim and says that this is what Salim was hiding, and Jalal asks that from where did Salim find the gungros. Salim says that he was playing so, and Salim couldn't complete his statement because he was afraid of Jalal. Jalal asks Salim to put the gungros on the floor, and Jalal takes out his sword and puts it near the gungros. Jalal says to Salim that now, Salim has to decide what he likes, maybe the king's sword or the gungros. Salim couldn't say anything, and Jalal says that he thinks that Salim liked the sword. Salim runs and goes to Jalal, and Jalal asks that what happened. Salim says that the sword is very heavy, and Jalal asks that what then the Salim likes. Salim says that he likes the noise of the gungros, and he is afraid of the sword. Jalal angrily says that Salim doesn't know anything about the sword, and he would make Salim learn sword fighting, and all the kids in the palace have to learn sword fighting, and he would tell them all that sword have more noise than gungros. Salim was with Joda, and Salim asked Joda that is Jalal angry with him. 
Joda says that Jala will be pacified, but Salim should tell her from where did they find the Gungro. Salim says that the Gungro belongs to one egoistic and disrespectful girl, and the girl is younger than him, but she seems older and she talks big. Joda says that why did Salim bring her Gungro? Salim says that the girl was insulting him, so that was why he took her Gungro. Joda says that it is wrong, and Salim is going to become the king soon, so Salim should give gift to the people and not take from them. Salim says that he found the Gungru lying on the floor, and Joda says that still, it doesn't belong to Salim, and what will Salim do with it? So Salim should return it back to the girl. Salim says that the Gungru belongs to him, and he will not give it back to the egoistic girl. Joda says that it seems like Salim doesn't like girls, and Salim says yes, he doesn't like girls because they are egoistic. Joda says that Salim will like girls when he grow up, and Joda tells Salim that she is also a woman. So if Salim doesn't like girls, then Salim doesn't like her as well. Salim says that Joda and Amida are different, and Joda says that what did Salim said to the girl that made her disrespect Salim. Salim says that he told the girl that he would become the king, so the girl said that he is smaller than the king's finger, and he should come to her when he become the king, then she would give him respect. Joda laughs and says that Salim should always respect girls, and if someone is more intelligent than Salim, then Salim should accept it and be friend with them, because when anyone knows that Salim is the son of the king, then he or she will teach Salim the right thing, and he or she will be Salim's real friend. And now, Salim should give back the gungros to the girl, and Salim agrees. Zilbara quotes Anakali for talking back at Prince Salim, and Anakali says that she gave him the second gungro as well, because he is a prince and he was fighting for gungros. Zilbara says that they are very small in front of people like him, and Anakali cannot talk to him like that because they are living in the kingdom with Jalau's blessing. Anakali says that she doesn't know anything, but she wants her Gungru's back. In the palace, Joda comes to Jalau and says that she knows that Jalau is worried for Salim. Jalau says that he knows what to do, and Joda says that she trusts Jalau, but Jalau should remember that Salim is very small. Jalau says that he knows and he also likes music, but Salim would become the king, so he wants him to know the importance of sword. Jalau says that Salim is his child and he would handle him politely, and he can now see that Salim is just like Joda. Joda says that at least, Jalau accepted it at last. Jalau says that Joda knows that when he saw Joda for the first time, he was just laughing. Joda says that so Jalau did not like her at first sight. Jalau says that Joda was very small like a child then. Joda says that why do Jalau always like to put off her mood, so she is going. Jala owes Joda's hand and says that he likes Joda a lot, and that is why he loves Salim too, and Jala asks Joda. Rukaya was seeing the dance performance of some girls, and after the dance, Rukaya praised the girls and throws her jewelry at them. The girls takes the jewelry and leaves, and Rukaya remembered how Salim had gongrus with him, and Rukaya says that now, she knows Salim's interest, and he doesn't like sword, but he likes gongrus, and this thing is in her favor. Salim along with the other kids come into the sword fighting area and there were so many gongros and swords. Murad says that they are in this problem because of Salim. Jalau comes there and Salim was afraid. Amida says that she doesn't know what Jalau is up to. Rukaya says that Jalau will decide everything rightly. Jalau asks Salim to stand in one corner and Salim stands there and Ram comes there with some girls. Rahim says to Salim that Salim have to keep his focus on only Jalau and Salim should not look at the dancing of the girls because Jala would not like it. On one side, the girl started dancing on the noise of the gongros, and on the other side, Jala started his fight with the soldiers, and Ram was playing the instrument. After Ram stops the instrument, Jala started his fight and makes noise with his sword, and then Jala stops and the girls makes noise with the gongros, and this circle goes on and on, but Salim keeps his focus on only Jala, and he refused to look at the girls even for once, and Jalau stops and goes to Salim, and Jalau looks at Salim and says that now, Salim knows that sword has more rhythm than gungros, and he is happy that Salim did not look at the gungros, and now, Salim have to focus on the sword in life, and Salim agrees, and Jalau leaves from there. Alright, in case you are wondering, this is what the gungros looks like, and to the special announcement, I put a post up that if you guys want me to create another channel for gist and other stuff about the word. And surprisingly, 64% of you guys said yes, while 3% said no, and 34% of you guys said 
whatever i do is okay with you guys so with that i decided to create the channel and the channel is all about the word gist and i'll put the link in the comment section i'll put it in the description box as well check the channel out there is a video there already and i'm really curious to know who will be the first subscriber on that channel and let's make that channel our gist room and i'll see you all again in my next video and see you on that channel as well thank you for watching bye guys